Hey everyone, welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on Lee's quilt. She won this via watching our live streams. This come together. This is the French Braid Star quilt. Very scrappy version of it. The um, main piece was green and then I used a lot of my scraps to put it all together. And it turned out to be 82 by 82. We used the cutoff pieces to build out a whole border to go all the way around. It ended up 72, you have it 36 blocks and then you end up 72 of these pieces left over. You could build a whole other quilt with them. You don't even have to put it around the border. So, and this, if you were to do it just this way, it turns out to be, I think by 70, six by 76 or something like that or 75 and then with a couple of inches you know it ends up being in about 80 82 when it's all finished so very happy lee won this these are the, some of the benefits and rewards you get for watching the mama pop quilt shop channel and uh so congratulations so we've been filling it all out with some very lovely little stitch outs so kind of each each block has something on it <coughs> it's not always different it's, i've only worked with two patterns so far but then i've got a nice special one that i like to stick right into the center of the star itself, okay? <clears throat> so this one we're gonna put in here is called Special Rose. And then the ones I've used on the outside here is this one is called QCC08, very technical term to it. And this one is called uh, Twirl Block, okay? So very happy to put these on here. It looks absolutely lovely. And she chose uh, Emerald Thread and my light white to gray backing with 80-20 in the batting. And that's what we're doing, having some fun, okay? So we're just gonna, I, I'll show you what I did for the, how to gauge where I want this, the, this big block to go. I went all the way up here to the point and then all the way down here. And of course, I am very lucky to have a large enough throat space to get two 12 inch blocks in here without any problem, okay? And then all the way down to here and then same to this point, all the way up and then to that point and then back across, okay? And that determined, because I really wanted this to be something a little bit extra special, right? So I've chose one block, but I just made it nice and big and put it in here, okay? So we're gonna start the quilting. It's gonna go all the way down here. Doo -doo -doo. And it's not perfect by any means, but it was never designed to be perfect. This is my scrappy adventure, and she liked it so much, she wanted to enter to win it. So congratulations, Lee, from San Antonio, Texas. Yes, we had a lovely video chat the other day and uh, discussed all sorts of things, many threads, different types of patterns and stitch outs. And yeah, we had a lot of fun. So I don't know how long this is gonna take, but we're gonna film the whole thing so you can see it. And this one pattern ties in with the other two as well. I tried to keep something that was very matchy, would be very similar between the two, and so on and so forth. See the lovely little heart right there? It's also in the other square. Just gonna wait for it to finish that little section there. And I will trim my thread, just to get it out of the way, okay? And it's gonna go and fill up these four squares that I have literally increase to one big square uh, with this whole pattern because I told it to. I told it where I wanted it to stitch it out and then I go and put the pattern in there and I stretch it a little bit and tweak it a little bit to make sure it fits the whole way because the pattern itself sometimes is only an eight by inch pattern and I'm trying to make it fit 20 by 20 so or you know 24 by 24. See how it comes perfectly right down in that corner? Lovely. And then you know, it's a very similar on uh, the other block, how that all comes together as well. I just thought it was so beautiful to come together uh, to, to make this you know, beautiful stitch out for this quilt. I want to be lovely on the other side as well. Like if she gets, you know, this gets a little too wild for her, she can flip it over to the back side and she's got this lovely uh, cream, uh, uh, sorry, gray and white marble mix. It's a North Cot uh, wide back backing. Um, and, uh, and she can just look at all the beautiful stitch outs in the emerald green. And we did talk about two different colored threads, but nope. I like, I like actually this as well. I like the, having that bold um, secondary quilt, really, because it'll look like a nice whole cloth when finished. And I will put post pictures once it's all finished up. I do have work to do. I've got this here. So I pretty much only have the two more rows and then I got to work the border. I got the work, the, the border at the top has some beautiful leaves in it, and they're just gonna go all the way around. And 
And then it's a dark green for the binding. Uh, I don't think I have enough of this, so I'll have to grab another green. I'm sure she won't mind. Very similar in color, probably. I will look, I'm not entirely sure. I may place some um, elsewhere because it was a big chunk that came from a, a project. Very nice. So it's not quite halfway done the stitch out yet, but it's almost there. Beautiful point to a leaf there. We have a lot of fun on our live streams. I hope you guys can join us. It's Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, love to see you there. And if you don't get a chance to catch us, we always post the, the show so everybody can watch it afterwards in case they miss it. So and always leave messages, we read them. I love that little swirl. Love it. So pretty. And it's gonna look so pretty when it's done. Can't wait to see the whole back of it. <laughs> and I like how the green kind of disappears on the green, like the dark on the dark, but then it just pops right up when it comes to any of these color strips that we put on for the, the scrappy collection. And I was looking at it and I didn't think that there was any more one color than the other that stood out. I think I really got the equal tones of the red and the blues and the, and the, even the greens, even though this is a dark green, I still had to play on other greens. I had light ones coming in, medium tone comes in, coming in, but not really a dark tone. That was, that was pretty much the only dark green that I had going on was the, the major, the solid bit. But it's hard to sometimes pull a scrappy collection that way where it doesn't look like you had too much pink in one corner and too much purple or whatever. It helps to get it all blended equally. That's why I think I did all the blocks first and then started pitting them together, like lining them up. This one had too much orange. Like, you know, there's a couple of them, like it would end up too much orange in the center here. Like that and that was enough. This pulling in from the side, that pulling, it was equal. It was a little bit equal. Same with the reds. There's equal reds, you know. Matter of balance. And sometimes if you just don't know, just go for it anyways, you end up creating a beautiful work of art. Very cute, almost there. Only a wee bit to go. But it's been a lot of fun. We're working on now is pink and purple wonky cottages. Uh, they measure four by seven inches. And we've uh, we made, we've done one show so far, which is just, um, uh, sorry, two shows so far. And then the, we'll be ending this coming Sunday. We'll end that project. It's been very fun. I love the little wonky houses. Wonky cottages. Some aren't so wonky as others. I mean, the first ones were a little wonky, but. <laughs> Red bun. And the combination of the pink and the purple is making some really pretty houses. So you will get to see the patterns that I have chosen. And we're gonna do a little snippet so you can see and then Pop will um, attach it in here beautifully somewhere in the whole video so you can see of how it all looks. And so just a little bit by bit, you're like, I can't tell, I don't know what's going on. Love the thread choice color. That emerald is beautiful. I didn't have enough teals. I should, I gotta add some teals to my collection. I felt disappointed I didn't have the, a proper teal color for her. It's hard to gauge sometimes when you're, you know, you're, you're starting off and you buy a bunch of threads and you know, you make that little investment and hoping they were, you know, colors you know, end up being chosen. Put quilts together. I, I just picked up this emerald one uh, for an April project. Actually, it was, uh, this fabric was uh, part of use for, so I hadn't used emerald before. I had jungle green, and that was kind of emeraldy, but it's a little bright. It's a little br on the bright side. But the emerald was definitely the right choice for this. Looks beautiful. Almost there. 
Some of the swirly bits in this corner. And hopefully she loves it too. Some of my favorite patterns. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out on uh, Facebook on our Mafia group, uh, Mom and Pop Quilt Shop Mafia. You do have to answer very few simple questions to get in. Um, it's, it's not like, you know, scanning your eyeball or anything. It's just a few little sewing questions. <laughs> you don't answer, you don't get in. We're almost done. One little bit and done. I can't wait to continue on with the next couple of rows and then finish off the border. And what I will do when I do the border itself, because I've done a little bit at the, at the top, and then I'll do a little bit on the bottom, and then I'll take it all off. I'll take it completely off, flip it, and then set the border across the top again, set the border across the bottom, and then that, at that point in time, the quilt is finished from getting off the long arm and then it gets over to the table trimmed up binding put on uh the front flip to the back and then i will hand stitch that all the way around before this gets all the way gets mailed off to lee there we go so hopefully you like what we have going on here and uh you uh check us out on the weekend project and the live stream so take care everybody have a fantastic day and we will see you next time enjoy mm -hmm.